Select Rotors from the drop down menu and from the Rotor home page select Shift Type from under the Administration drop down. The next screen shows the shift types currently allocated to the site. Depending upon access level there may be multiple sites present. From the top right hand side of the screen select Create New Shift Type. Once selected a pop up window will appear on the right hand side of the list of current shifts. Fill in the description which is a reference for the shift type. Next fill in the code which is what will be seen in the drop down. Give the shift a value, one for a single shift and two for a split shift. You can choose the priority which they will appear in the rotor drop down. Enter start and end times for the shift using the 24 hour clock. If it is a split shift, enter start and end times 2. The total time is calculated automatically. You may have the ability to enter a break time within the shift. Give the shift a colour. This appears when viewing the optimization screen on the rotor. If you leave default shift ticked, it allows the shift to be used as a default in the employee HR section. All mandatory fields need to be filled in before you can save. You now need to assign the shift to a location by selecting the location and moving it across to the right hand box with the central arrows. There may be more than one location in the list depending upon access level. To select more than one, click on them and click save. Next, assign the division that the shift is relevant to and click on save again. Click save a final time and the shift will now appear in the list on the left of the screen. If created incorrectly or unused they can be deleted by ticking the box on the left and delete at the bottom. Click on the shift itself to be able to edit start or end times and locations or divisions that the shift is relevant to. Once in the rotor, when you select the shift type from the drop down the times will automatically populate based on the times you have set up. 